Hello, welcome back. This is Joe Samo from San Diego, California. Uh, let's give this one a try. It's an important coordinate geometry example. What is the line formula for points 210 and negative 5 and 5? All right. Give us a shot on your own. Uh, if you want to do that, hit the pause button right now, and we will circle back in a few seconds. All right, welcome back, and uh, let's give this one a try together, okay? Let's do this one together now. Um, what I always do is I always, uh, I always graph it out, even though you don't need to. I always do it anyway. All right, so let's do that really quick. Okay, so the first point is 2 and 10. So on the x-axis, we have 1, 2, and on the y-axis, we go up 10. Okay, so that's 2 and 10. And then the other point was negative 5 and 5, right? So this one is, uh, the first point is 2 and 10, and then the other one is negative 5 and 5. So negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5. So it's somewhere right there, okay? So then you connect these dots. The line would look something like this. Hang on. All right, so that's our line. It's definitely a positive slope. Anytime a line goes this way, it's, it's a positive slope. And if the line goes that way, it is a negative slope. Okay, so that is a positive slope. All right, the two points, again, is 2 and 10 and negative 5 and 5. Okay, those are the two points. Now we got to go to the line formula. The line formula is y equals mx plus b. All right, the M is the slope, and the B is the y-intercept, okay? So uh, the way to get the slope is we get M equal, the slope equals the rise over the run, okay? Uh, what that means, the rise is y2 minus y1, because it's rise, which is vertical, so that's y, over the run, the run is horizontal, which is the x, over x2 minus x1, all right? Let's call this x1 and this y1 and this one x2 and this one y2. So y2 is five and y1 is 10. And x2 is negative five minus x1, which is two. Five minus 10 is negative five. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. So the slope is negative 5 over negative 7, which simplifies to 5, 7. Okay? So that's the slope. The slope is 5 over 7. Now we want to get the y-intercept. So we got y equals m, which is 5, 7, x plus b. Okay? So to get the y-intercept, we just plug in either point. I would probably plug in the 2 and 10 because it looks a little easier than the negative 5 and 5, but it doesn't matter which one you plug in. Uh, let's go with 2 and 10. So you plug in 10 for y. 10 equals 5 sevenths, and you plug in 2 for x plus b. All right? So we get 10 equals, and you multiply the 2, 10 equals 10 over sevenths plus b. Make a common denominator, which would be 7. All right? So 10 is like 70 over 7. Right, so 70 over 7 equals 10 over 7 plus b. Subtract 10 over 7 from each side. So we would then get, let's uh, go over here, we would get 60 over 7 equals b, right? Okay, so then that's the y-intercept, which by the way, what that means, the y-intercept, is when x is 0, all right, let's go back to our graph. When x is 0, y would be 60 over 7, which is a little bit under 10, right? It's about eight and a half. Uh, <laughs> look at that, which is about right. So when y, uh, when x is zero, y is about um, eight and a half. Okay, now <clears throat> uh, we have our answer. The formula is y equals the slope, which is five over seven x plus b, which is 60 over seven. And that is the answer. All right, that's the answer. All right, good stuff. Um, if you have any other questions you have or whatever, put it in the comments.